Are we alone in the universe? Is Andy Kaufman alive? Is Psyduck really a duck? These are life's most important questions, but the most important question of all, why the heck isn't Lawrence Fishburne playing Morpheus in The Matrix Resurrections? Last year, Fishburne told New York Magazine that he actually wasn't invited to be a part of the fourth movie. The reason is a mystery, but one possible explanation may be due to The Matrix Online, an old 2005 online multiplayer game that was an official continuation of The Matrix film trilogy. Set after the events of the third movie, The Matrix Online had you playing as a customizable character who took the red pill. In the game, those who took the red pill were known as Red Pills. You then had to join a faction and complete various missions. One mission involved Morpheus tasking you with finding fragments of Neo's residual self-image to try to reconstruct Neo. Unfortunately, it failed, so Morpheus then demanded that the machines return Neo's body in the real world. For some mysterious reason though, the machines refused, even though there was a truce between humans and machines. Morpheus then visited the Oracle to try to find out why the machines won't give back Neo's body, which we learn hasn't been recycled. Why won't they give up his remains? They say they haven't recycled them. They belong in Zion, in a holy place. Frustrated and suspicious, Morpheus eventually decides that in order to coerce the machines into giving back Neo, he will give public speeches in Mega City to wake up people and detonate code bombs to destabilize the Matrix. This basically enrages everyone who now wants Morpheus dead. As players try to locate and defuse the bombs to protect the truce, a lethal program was created known as the Assassin, whose job was to hunt down and kill Morpheus. All of this eventually leads to this moment. In a cutscene, Morpheus can be seen planting a code bomb in a water waste treatment plant. But right after planting the bomb, this happens. Morpheus dies. Could this be the reason why Lawrence Fishburne isn't playing Morpheus in The Matrix 4? After all, The Matrix Online is official canon, as the Wachowskis not only gave their blessing for the MMO, but they reportedly created the early parts of The Matrix Online story. Since Morpheus' death occurred in the first few months of the game's launch, it's possible that the Wachowskis approved or even conceived Morpheus' death. Additionally, the Wachowskis also helped create other Matrix media, including the Animatrix short films, comic books, and two other Matrix games called Enter the Matrix and The Matrix Path of Neo. All of these were meant to push the transmedia storytelling of The Matrix. And in an interview about The Matrix Online that was posted on IGN in 2005, the Wachowski said, Our films were never intended for a passive audience. There are enough of those kind of films being made. We wanted our audience to have to work, to have to think, to have to actually participate in order to enjoy them. This may be because, while we enjoy movies, we also spend a lot of time, as in cracked in amounts of time, gaming. Gaming engages your mind actively, whereas most genre films, the films we tend to watch, are designed to provoke as little thinking as possible. Consider why the films in which everyone knows exactly what is going to happen are the films that make the most money. Yet the fact that The Matrix films are three of the most successful adult films in history, despite what much of the media would have us believe, suggests that there are other people like us. Those are the people, the people who thought about it, who worked at it, who we ultimately made the trilogy for. And it now makes perfect sense to us that they should inherit the storyline. For us, the idea of watching our baby evolve inside the virtual bubble world of this new radically developing medium, which has in our opinion, the potential of combining the best attributes of films and games, of synthesizing reality TV with soap opera, RPGs, and Mortal Kombat, is fantastically exciting. 
With the Wachowskis being huge gamers, it's entirely possible Morpheus' death scene in The Matrix Online really is canon. However, as many incredulously pointed out, if this is the reason why Lawrence Fishburne isn't back as Morpheus in The Matrix 4, then it would be pretty silly and surprising. The Matrix Online was considered a mediocre game, and due to its dwindling player base, the game ended up shutting down in 2009, four years after the game's launch. As such, some think it's unlikely that anything involving The Matrix Online would actually be considered canon, despite what the Wachowski said years prior. What's more, if Morpheus' death is canon, then that would mean the humanoid Ant-Men in Path of Neo, and the werewolves and coat-sucking vampires in The Matrix Online may also be canon. It's a crazy notion, but adding to the craziness is that some people believe that Morpheus didn't actually die in this cutscene. Sometime after the events of the third movie, a program called Emergency Jackout was created. This allowed red pills to respawn or safely exit the Matrix, even if they died in the Matrix. This was most likely just a convenient way to explain why players didn't have to keep creating a new character every time they died. However, if this feature exists in the universe, then that could mean that Morpheus is still alive, since he would have used the emergency jackout when he got shot. Lending credence to this theory is that his body in the real world was never found, and he purportedly never made any contact with would-be allies. As such, players believed Morpheus faked his own death, and is hiding in the real world after possibly finding a new lead on Neo's whereabouts. If this is true, then that could explain why Lawrence Fishburne's Morpheus isn't in The Matrix Resurrections. It all seems logical, but it's here where things get complicated. It's been said that the bullets the assassin used to shoot Morpheus contained a special kill code that could bypass the emergency jackout system, so that would mean Morpheus really did die. However, some allege that the assassin didn't actually use kill code bullets, but rather special non-lethal bullets that prevented Morpheus from re-entering The Matrix. Why an assassin wouldn't just kill their target is beyond me, but according to the Matrix fandom page, the bullets were actually designed to jam Morpheus' transmission so he wouldn't be able to broadcast himself in Mega City as he originally planned. Things then took an interesting turn on March 30th, 2007, when a fragmented broadcast of Morpheus appeared, as seen in this gameplay footage captured by Havo CD. There he is. According to the aforementioned fandom page, Morpheus said to prepare for war since Neo was alive and being held hostage in the Machine City. However, some YouTube commenters said that this wasn't Morpheus, but rather an imposter named The General who was pretending to be Morpheus to create confusion. And if that wasn't enough, select players were also reportedly emailed cryptic text that said that Morpheus would likely quote, fade away and hide. It was never clarified whether Morpheus was dead or alive, but if his death really is canon, then that would mean The Matrix Resurrections takes place after The Matrix Online. But how likely is it that a mediocre game that faded into obscurity over a decade ago is still actually canon? I guess we'll have to wait and see when The Matrix Resurrections comes out in a few months. In the meantime, if you're curious about how The Matrix Online ended when it shut down, here's gameplay footage courtesy of Ian Jefferson. In the game's final moments, players gathered around, waiting for inevitability, when suddenly... Bolts of electricity struck down. An alert then popped up on screen, telling the player to wake up, which was then followed by this horror. The game's beta also ended in a similar fashion, but it was even more horrifying. In the final moments, as captured by Untra, the sky turned bloody red as it was covered with creepy eyes staring down at you. 